Hello, I'm Kate and this is another car boot sale haul. In case you don't know what a car boot sale is, um, most of you probably do, but in case you don't, it's basically where um, loads of people get together in a field. That sounds weird. No, you take your cars and you put all your, if you've had a declutter, you put all the stuff in the boot and you drive to a place that has a car boot sale event on and then you park and you sell stuff out your boot or you get a table and then you sell stuff. It's kind of like a garage sale or a yard sale or that kind of thing. I don't think, is there any other version? No, I think that's that's about it. Tabletop sale. Yay! So that's a car boot sale um, and I love them. You can find amazing bargains for hardly anything. I've got some things to show you that were like 20p. Really, really cheap. So loads of things to show you actually. Um, loads of bargains. Not any clothes in this one, but just lots and lots of lovely things but before I get into it I've got to do my mug of the day and I actually found this one at the car boot sale I went to well I've been to loads recently but all of this stuff that I'm going to show you today is from two car boot sales one's in Norfolk one's in Suffolk in the UK and a lot of it's from Julie's car boot sale in Great Yarmouth and also Borough Castle in Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft Kessingland car oh sorry I've got funny hair oh there's a hair there I've got it, I thought it was my eyebrow, but it's hair from my head. Um, yeah, Lowestoft, uh, in Lowestoft, in Suffolk, and it's called Kessingland Car Boot Sale. So they're the two that I've been to, to buy all my bargains. And I actually found this at the car boot sale um, in Yarmouth, and it was 50p. And it is an Aurina mug. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, I'm not going to tip it too much, so we've got a drink in there. It says Aurina at the bottom. She's got lovely little, two little shops in I think one's in North Norfolk and the other one oh there's two in North Norfolk I think and I went and visited her and she gave me some gifted things and then I bought some items as well so when I saw this mug I was like oh that's the other one I really wanted this little mug um at the time but I got a little one with dogs on but how pretty is that I love the green and the little flowers on this was 50p so I was really like happy to find it and I've been really good if you watch my videos you know that I love mugs and um I buy lots of mugs. I'm only buying them if they're like really amazing. If they're really, you know, if they're much better than the other ones I've got, I can get them, but I'm not getting any basic ones, just, you know, really amazing mugs. Actually, having said that, I've got two mugs, but they're very cute and you'll see why I had to buy them. Just saying, I'm not buying many mugs and I've got another two to show you. Anyway, this is my mug of the day. I've got a like fruit tea thing, but a cold infused fruit tea thing. You know, one of those tea bags you put in, you put with cold water. It's a mango one and it's lovely, but you can't leave it in for too long because it goes too sweet. So I've been taking it out. Ah, right, okay, so shall I begin? Okay, I've waffled on for ages. Waffle, waffle, waffle. I'm gonna try and make this another no edit one because they're just easier. Then I don't have to edit, obviously, and it, you can just put them straight on. It's lovely. The first things I'm gonna show you, well, I've already started, haven't I, with that lovely mug, but these two are just gorgeous. And I went to the car boot sales with my friend Kelly, who is, I think she's been before, but not very often. And now she just loves them. So we've been going, you know, every, any chance we can when the weather's good on a Sunday, we've been going, we've got, she's got some amazing things as well. So, um, but I saw these on a little stall and it's just a nice gray planter. So just, you can get things like this at car boots. I've been looking for big garden pots, but I can't really find them, but you can find lots of decorative things for your house. and. Um, kind of, I found lots of tin things for flowers and plants. So it's just a really nice shade of grey, little tin, and you could use that for anything you could put, you know, what are they called? Ketchups and all that stuff in here. Condiments, is that what they're called? It's a weird word, isn't it? Condiments! I think I'm gonna put a little hole in it and plant a little flower so there's stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, that was 50p. And I'm gonna put that there. And this was also on the same stall. How lovely, I love things like this, just really simple and just very, very, I don't know, it's just cute, isn't it? Just nice, so I can do a nice, maybe put my fruit in there or something, or put it in the utility room. This was also 50p, and it just says fresh market veg grocers and provisions. I love things like this. Ah, so that was 50p as well, I love those. Love these. You can find all sorts of car boot sales, but you can honestly find such amazing things. I love it. Love it so much. Um, this is, oh, you know, I said there was two mugs to show you. Well, there's actually four. So there's me saying I'm, I'm being good with mugs and I've bought four in one go. But you will see why I had to buy this because I couldn't leave it behind and it was 50p. It was 50p or a pound. 
I don't know. I don't know. It was something that was silly. I think it was 50 pigs. I was like, I can't leave that. I've got to get it. And I might actually give this away. I might give this to my dad or something or to use it. I don't know. I had to get it. Look, it was a pound or 50p. I don't know. Um, and it's, it just says Panda Bear Brew. And there's little biscuits in the mouth there. So you put your biscuits in here and you've got yourself, you know, you could have a hot chocolate or whatever. And it's just so sweet. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna give that away or keep it, but I just had to get it. I'm not sure where it's from originally. That's just very cute. Chompastic cookie mug. Could you leave that behind though? I just couldn't. So yeah, that's um, one of the mugs. I'll just get these two out of the way actually these two so these were 50p each so i think everything's been so cheap at car boot sales because everyone's had a big declutter you know probably during lockdown now they're selling it all and when i saw these two i thought they'd make brilliant gifts or oh, they'd just be quite nice for me anyway these were 50p each and in this one is a really pretty mug it's actually quite similar to this hang on they're quite similar aren't they like similar shapes, sh 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 similar, similar styles. This one's green and this one's kind of pink. So lovely. So that was 50p and inside there is a hand cream, hand and nail cream. That's always handy because we're using lots of hand cream at the moment with all the hand sanitization and washing of hands. So yeah, I might keep that because I think it's lovely. And I think it's just from Boots or something, M&S. So that's going to be a nice hand cream. Lovely, really sweet. So yeah, I couldn't resist it. And this one would be a nice, is this, where's that from? Oh, that's Marks and Spencer as well. So it's like a Christmassy, wintery mug. I'll probably keep all of these actually and just use the hand creams. And this one, this is Alice and Eliza. We made it for you. And a shower cream. Oh, that's good. And body cream. Oh, okay. So I've got hand cream, shower cream, body cream, which is really good. So I'll probably keep all these actually. Nice little um, 30 millilitres shower cream and body cream. So 50p for that mug as well. I've got a couple of 20p things. It's worth, you know, when if you go to car boot sales and people have, um, I love it when they just have sections on the floor that are 10p or 20p because you can just look like you don't have to talk to anyone you can just browse and walk around and you know how much they're going to cost so also if you are going to do a car boot sale a good idea is to have um areas where things everything down there is like 20p 50p and a pound because some people do get embarrassed asking prices and sometimes you can be a little bit intimidated if you think it might be expensive but even though it might, might not be, some people get embarrassed asking prices. So it is great to just put a sign saying everything here, a certain price, because I think you'll do, you'll probably sell more because I love um, I love having a look with things like 20p. So these were 20p, some toothpicks. I think they're from B&M originally and they were a pound, but got them for 20p. And my dad is always after a tooth. Have you got a toothpick? He's Irish, he just always wants a toothpick. So I'm gonna give him those so he's got millions of toothpicks. He can pick his teeth and till his heart's content. This is also 20p. Um, it is something you put in your drain to stop hair going down. And my hair falls out so much. If you watched a video I did during lockdown, I spoke about when I had alopecia. So when I was younger, a patch of my hair fell out at the back. I actually had two patches and some of my eyelashes went as well. Um, so I did a video on it because I get one into over the years and then I just didn't get around to it. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna do that video. So um, yeah, if you want to watch that video, if you've had a similar experience with losing your hair, then I'll include that in the, in the description below. If I forget, cause I might just, and you wanna watch that video, can you just say, please, can you add the video? Cause, um, cause I might forget. Well, you can search it, I suppose, but just let me know and I'll add it. Cause sometimes I forget when I put the videos on, but lots of my hair still falls out. I've still got a good head of hair, but it does, um, it does fall out quite a lot, so this will catch it so it doesn't go down the drain. And that was 20p, and it's Umbra Flex. I think that's something you probably find in home bargains. So 20p for that. I bought a glasses case for 50p. Oh, I'm a glasses case. And um, that's great for sunglasses because I squeeze my glasses into, no, I put my sunglasses, I sometimes squeeze them into 
like a standard glasses case, but it's too small. So this is a nice big one for sunglasses. And it's Laura Ashley, if you can see along here, it just says Laura Ashley, which I didn't know. I just thought it was pretty. She said, it's Laura Ashley. I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, it says it on the inside and it's got a nice little thing you can, you know, clean your sunglasses with. So 50p for this. And then, oh, these are really cute. These are from the same people I got this from and it was a pound and I didn't need them but I couldn't resist them for a pound. I was looking at them and oh they're cute but I don't need them and then they said they're a pound. I went ah I picked them up Argh! so I was like, I'm gonna have to get them. I probably I think I did make those noises because my friend Kelly was there and I was like Argh! and then I had to get them. I couldn't resist. I couldn't leave you behind because you were a pound and look they're so cute. I love you all. They're small to medium. They just feel really, really soft. And I think I'm gonna, oh no, they might be too small. Small to medium, suitable for shoe size four to five. So maybe, might be too small. I don't know. I'll try them. Or should I give them away? I don't know. I'm sure they'll be fine. So I'll try them. Yeah, okay. I'll try them. Let's open you up. If not, Oh, just, okay. Okay, so they're little ones that you put on your feet, like slipper ones. If they are too small, I'm gonna put them back in there and I can donate from the charity shop. So I'm just gonna duck my head down and try them on. Ah! They're a bit small. They are too small. So what I'm gonna do is put them back in here and I'm gonna donate them to the charity shop. So, and hopefully they can sell them for a bit more, make some money and it will go to charity. So I'll just put that back on there and then they can go to the charity shop. So sorry, we can't be together, but have a nice time. You'll find a nice home. Someone will love those. So I'll put it over there in my charity shop bag. So I'm doing a lot of decluttering at the moment. So I'll make sure I put them in as well. I sold this book. This was 50p and my friend said, my friend Kelly, who went around the car boot sale with, said, she, um, said it was really good. And it's kind of, I think it's for kids, but then it's good for you as well. So it just says, you are awesome. And it's by Matthew Said, is it? If I said it correctly. Author of Black Box Thinking and Bounce. Lee's read both of those, those books. So he might like this as well. Derma O'Leary said, an inspiring, uplifting read. I wish I'd had it as a kid and Sainsbury's Children's Book Awards 2018. So that looks really good. Just helps, there's all different things in here. So yeah, we'll read this. Me, Toby and Lee, I'm sure there's different bits in here for everyone. Just says, what if you could become awesome at almost anything? Blah, blah, blah. Then it says, um, what does it say? Whatever you want to be good at, the right mindset can help you achieve your dreams because you are awesome. Oh, it says, I know you can do it. How? I wasn't born sporty, but I'm a two-time Olympian. You know how else I know? Because you're awesome. So that looks really good. And that was 50p. So I thought I would get that. And then this was 50p as well. Some Zoella shower essence. And these were in home bargains a little while ago. And I think I actually got another one from a car boot sale, but I've used them up and they're really nice. It's brand new with its thingy on the top, so it's never been used. And there is, how much in here? How much? 250 millilitres. So that'll be nice, just some, well, it's actually called shower sauce, not shower gel, but I just like how they look. So that was 50p. I've got loads of toiletries. I've got my hand cream, my shower sauce, my body wash and my um, body butter, whatever it was. Oh, yay. Okay, so we bought quite a few of these glasses. These are plastic ones. And I've got to say hello to, because the people on the stall watch my videos, I think it's Michelle. I want to say Michelle and Dave, but I could have got that completely wrong. So hello, if you're the people that sold me these glasses. Um, it was lovely chatting to you. And actually quite a few people have come up to say hi at car boot sales. I bumped into a lovely lady called Colleen the other day and another lady called Michelle, who I met at Norwich. Actually, both of them I met at Norwich and a few other people. So I love it when people come and say hi at car boot sales or at charity shops. So if you ever do see me, please come and say hi. Cause I just, I love it. I love people saying hello. It makes me feel all, all nice. It's just, 
I don't know, it's just a nice experience. So definitely say hi if you do ever see me. Um, so anyway, back to these. We bought this set of four and there was, I think, three or four like individual ones. I think we got the whole lot for 50p or a pound. So they were a real bargain. And these are just great for camping. We're going camping soon. And I'll take these because you feel all posh, but they're actually plastic. So they look, you could use these in a hot tub or something. So they look very posh, but they're just, they're plastic. So I thought I would get those and they can be our camping, posh camping glasses. So thank you to the people who sold me them. It was lovely chatting. And I think the guy said mug of the day as well, which made me laugh. And then I've got, I've got something amazing to end on. A really brilliant thing that I found that I wanted originally and then didn't get like from next. And then I found it. So I'll show you that in a second. I've got a big kind of basket full of wedding stuff. So hopefully next year, because we're meant to get married this year in July, but it didn't happen obviously because everything going on. So hopefully we can just get married next year. And I bought a few extra bits because I may as well. We're getting, mar getting married in our garden. So I'm just gonna be decorating the garden. So you can't really have too much. And then whatever I don't do with it, I'll probably just donate to the charity shop anyway. So I bought these things and they were three for a pound. They were actually 50p each. And I said, would you take, can I have three for a pound if that's okay? And she said, yes, it was quite late on, I think. So I got all kinds of different things at three for a pound. And there is, what have I got in here? What's that? What are you? Oh, I've got some perfume. I don't know where that's come from. Avon Far Away Eau de Parfum. I, can't, I don't know how much that was. I've got some of these giant confetti balloon things, ginger ape, three beautiful 36 inch giant white confetti balloons. Can you see them? And these were three for a pound. So I'm just gonna show you some random things. I've got another packet of them as well. So one, two, three, and that was a pound. So two packets of these, so six balloons. So hopefully they'll look good for our wedding. And a little sign that I can put when we have our, we're doing like a sweet trolley thing. So when we have our sweets, I can put that out. I didn't actually have this sign. I kept seeing it on Facebook and people selling on eBay. But I didn't have one. So I have one, at least I don't think I've got one. Everything's kind of in the loft um, waiting. So, and if I do have two things, I can just put them out anyway. A little basket, I think that would have been about 50p. So I could use that, use that for anything. I love a little basket, little wicker basket. And then I've got some little, kind of, well, it says wooden confetti, but I'll put these out on the tables. These are ginger ale as well, which is a really nice wedding make, I think I've seen on John Lewis. I think they sell ginger ale things. So little love, ah, just dropped it. It says love, love, love. No, it doesn't, it just says love, but there's lots of them. So two packets of those and just some little hearts as well. I've actually got these hearts. I got them on eBay, just little wooden hearts. And I've put them, my coffee station downstairs, like around one of the little cups and they look like coffee beans. So they're very cute. So three for a pound on those ones. I'm back in the basket. And then three for a pound with these things. These are just some roses, some white roses a little bag of them like foam roses so I'll put them on something there's five in there and a craft punch from Hobbycraft and it just punches a heart doesn't it yeah so it's just a heart hole punch that's what that is and then the last thing is this ink pad and stamp from Hobbycraft so I can just if I want to just stamp Mr and Mrs on some different things so i just thought i'd get that as well a little wedding bundle and now i have a bit of my drink because it's hot it's really hot at the moment right i'm going to show you my final item and i love it i saw it and i was like oh the only there's a little problem though but i think it'll be okay so i saw this and i have been after it i did want it um from next when we were doing up our bathroom it's a towel holder it's not a radiator, it goes on the wall and you fold up your towels and you put them in here. And I wanted to put it by the shower, like next to our shower. So when we come out, you can just grab a towel. 
Um, and we didn't buy it at the time, then I just kind of forgot. And then we looked at a few others, but they looked a bit too, I don't know, they weren't quite right. And then I saw this on the floor and thought, oh, it's that towel holder I wanted. And it had um, this little ticket on here, if you can see it. It just says towel holder, five pounds from Next. And I thought, oh, it hasn't got the bits on the back. So me and Kelly were looking at it going, oh, I don't know, because we can't put it up. So I don't know if, might not be able to. There must be a way though. I think Lee's dad and Lee together will be able to put this on the wall somehow, but there's no back bits. So I said we should take three because I don't know if we're going to be able to get it on the wall. Hopefully we will. Um, and she said yes. So I got this for three pounds. And this just matches our style of our ensuite bathroom because it's kind of industrial style-ish. So I think that'll look really good if we get it up on the wall. So hopefully we will. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we will. I can, I'll put a picture on Instagram if it makes it. So that is the final thing I have to show you in this um, car boot sale haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. I do. I love car boot sales so much. If you watch my channel, if you watch my videos, you'll know over the years that I love, I love charity shops. I think car boot sales, just because you never know what's going to be there and everything is in one place. I just love, I love them so much and you get things for next to nothing like this things for 20p and they're just brilliant so if you haven't been to also with social distancing it depends on the car boot sales some have like arrows and social distance measures in place and some don't they just expect you to kind of keep your distance and I did do some vlogging at a car boot sale a few weeks ago so I'll link that vlog in the description so you can kind of see how car boot sales are at the moment and when I first went to them I took loads of change like my own change and I was a bit worried about the money because obviously germs can you know get passed on with the money and it might get passed on to loads of different hands but now I'm more relaxed and I do take change but I just have loads of antibacterial gel and also antibacterial wipes because sometimes the gel gets too sticky doesn't it if you keep putting it on and someone on here kindly said that it has a negative effect or something after a while and it becomes too sticky so if you do the wipes as well it gets rid of everything and that was that's my top tip for a car boot sale so I just keep kind of cleaning my hands as I go and then wash them as soon as I get in and don't touch your face or anything um, so yeah and leave I'll leave things in quarantine and then obviously I wash things and clean them as well so thanks for watching let me know your favorite item in this haul add it to the comments below I love everything I literally love everything I love the towel holder the mugs the slippers that are off to the charity shop so yeah let me know your favorite come over to instagram as well i'm kate mccabe and my house account is kate's homely home and they will be linked in the description along with some videos i've done recently the car boot sale vlog and some other videos car boot sale hauls and charity shop hauls i've done recently but thanks for watching and um, comment with your favorite item i've said that so yeah have a lovely day and i will speak to you soon i do videos every wednesday and friday and i will speak to you on the next one bye